Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we celebrate the high holiday and my favorite Irishman will perform. And I whip up Irish cream liqueur. But first, it's Irish apple crumble with oats and my delicious shepherd's pie. Slancha. In honor of the approaching high holiday, St. Patrick's Day, I've made some Irish specialties. And I've been testing these and tasting these and I think I've got it down. I'm gonna make a dessert, which you are going to love, my Irish apple crumble with oats. It's actually kind of healthy. And you're going to love my shepherd's pie. For this recipe, you'll need two large russet potatoes peeled and quartered, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, one quarter cup milk, one half cup shredded sharp cheddar, two stalks of celery chopped, one small onion diced, two medium carrots diced, two cloves of minced garlic, one teaspoon of fresh thyme chopped, one teaspoon of fresh rosemary chopped, one pound of ground beef or one pound of ground lamb or half of each, one quarter cup of tomato paste, two teaspoons of flour, one half cup of red wine and one half cup of beef stock, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and one half cup of fresh parsley chopped. So I am boiling the potatoes right now in salted water and I'm gonna wait until they're fork tender. But in the meanwhile, I am going to get the bottom layer going. And I've melted the two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add my vegetables. Now, a lot of people like to add peas. Um, I did not want to because I don't have fresh peas right now. And I'm going to add some celery and the onion, the garlic. and the fresh herbs. There they are, the thyme. It sounded like Jamie Oliver there. I called him herbs, not herbs. And what I'm going to do is just cook these down until they're softened. It'll be about five or 10 minutes. Now I am going to add the beef and you wanna keep chunking it up. And I did throw in a couple um, chunks of lamb that I had from a lamb sirloin, just to add a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna cook this down until it is no longer pink. Now I'm going to add these tomato paste. And I'll tell you, I love that stuff that they sell in the tube because you don't have to keep opening those little cans. The Worcestershire, mm -mm -mm. The red wine, if you don't want to use red wine, you can also just substitute it for a full cup of beef stock. And now we will cook this for a couple minutes, let it all combine and thicken up. Let's make sure we adjust the seasonings. Remember, I haven't put any salt or pepper in here. Mmm, mmm. It has a good flavor, but I always think a little salt in the meat brings out that flavor. So I'm doing about a teaspoon. And then a couple grinds of pepper. And I'm sure, yeah, perfect. So I cooked the potatoes until they were fork tender in salted water. And now I'm going to mash them without anything on them. So we'll just mash them and get them all broken up. And last but not least, this beautiful cheddar. Make sure you get it shredded because you want it to evenly distribute. And then stir it. You don't want to mash that in. And you can make it in a 9 by 13. So just put a couple dollops all over the top. And I've already preheated the oven to 375. We're gonna put this in for about 30 minutes and you'll see that the potatoes get nice and golden, especially on the edges. And then the bottom bubbles really nice. Well, now it's time to make the sweet stuff. It is my Irish apple crumble 
with oats. You know, there's Irish oatmeal, and the Irish really do like their oats, and they like apples. Now, this particular dish that I'm about to make can be made with any seasonal fruit, but apples are always in season. So we're going to go with apples, and I'm using um, a mixture of apples. There's uh, some Golden Delicious in there, some Braeburn, um, even a Gallo or Granny Smith, whatever a good baking apple is. For the filling of this recipe, you'll need three cups of peeled, cored, and chunked baking apples. Granny Smith, Braeburn, Golden Delicious, about three or four. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one half cup of brown sugar, and the juice from one lemon. For the crumble, you'll need three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters cup old-fashioned oats, three quarters cup brown sugar, one cup of cold unsalted butter cut into pieces, and one quarter cup chopped pecans. I've already prepared. It is a uh, nine by 11 pan, and I'm gonna add the chunked apples and the brown sugar, we'll break that up, the flour, and the lemon juice. All right, and all we're gonna do is mix this up. Now, this one takes a little bit of work. I am going to have to take my ring off for this one. We are going to add the brown sugar, the flour in no particular order, the old fashioned oats, not the quick cooking oats, and all this butter, because you know how those Irish love their butter. And we are going to make a crumble with this, like a meal. And what we're aiming for here, make sure that butter's chilled, is you just keep, with the warmth of your hand, pressing everything together and making sure you combine all the dry ingredients. And what we're gonna do is just break it off and just evenly distribute this along the top of the apples. And you wanna make sure they're thoroughly covered. All right, so it's evenly distributed. And now I chop some pecans. Now this isn't necessary, but I just like nuts on this stuff. I think it's good. And again, the oven is at 375, and I'll put it in for 30 to 40 minutes. Start checking it at 30, but this is bubbly and delicious. Well, these came out of the oven at about the same time, and of course you have to have a resting period, but boy, these are two, a uh, one pot meal and a That's one right. pot dessert. What do you think, Jelaine, of the uh, shepherd's pie? I know you're not a big fan. I know, but this <laughs> is the best I've ever eaten. Really? It really, really is. Mm -hmm. Now, when I first started this recipe for the um, the crumble oat, oat crumble, they were telling you to just pour heavy whipping cream on top. Of you know, course, the Irish love The that. Irish love mm -hmm. whipping cream. But you just use whipped cream or, oh my gosh. You, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? I put out the heart because we need to wash it down with some nice Irish beer. What do you think? Slanta. <laughs> Slanta. Mm. See what a Ooh, nice that palate nice. cleanser that is? It is. It's there. To celebrate the like high Ireland. holiday. Yeah, just like being in Ireland. Yes. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com, and the recipes for both of these are there. Make them all year long, but especially for the high holiday. Cheers, Shalane. Nostalgia. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. All hail St. Patrick, your headquarters for the high holiday is right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Rude the dude, you have got a lot planned. Yes, we do. Starting parade day, we're actually gonna be in the parade this year. After parade, we have family-friendly events going here so you can bring your kids down uh, during the week. Different brewery every day. Free glassware, t-shirts, come down, support. Uh, Saturday, rooting the professionals, and Sunday, opening up at 8 a.m. with your, your Irish menu, Irish food, Irish drinks, and celebrating St. Pat's Day. Reggie. Chef Reggie has been busy. He is gonna be baking off all the corned beef, 
beautiful Rubens. Look at those spring rolls, whatever you need. And of course, there'll be a pint of Guinness waiting for you. So where to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? They've got you covered right here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Slauncha! Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilhelm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, Farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. We strive to be the best, provide the best food, the best atmosphere, and overall enjoyment of your dinner, lunch, or any kind of gathering you have that involves the upstairs restaurant. Your imagination is your only limitation. The customer understands that they're going to get the best food all the time. And it's great. Give it a try. I'm executive chef Tim King here at the Upstairs Restaurant. I just love food. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. Shop Ruli Brothers, home of the Famous Evening Express. Your home, your way. The choices are endless at Stonebridge Neighborhoods. Choose the lot and floor plan at Stonebridge or Westbury Park. Spacious single-family homes built to your specifications. Or enjoy a villa at Saybrook Point with extensive options for maintenance-free living. See for yourself. Stonebridge Neighborhoods will be your next move. Grand opening March 30th and 31st. For more information, contact Howard Hanna today. Irish cream liqueur, wonderful all year long, not just for the high holiday. Everybody loves Irish cream. It's a great addition to coffee, you can use it in desserts, and it's wonderful on the rocks straight up. So I'll make some Irish cream, and then in a little bit I'm going to make a very special cocktail using that cream liqueur. So let's get going and I'll give you the ingredient list. For this recipe, you'll need one and a half cups of the Irish whiskey of your choice, one cup of half and half or heavy whipping cream, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of instant coffee. This is so incredibly easy to make you're not going to believe it. And most of the ingredients you have on hand at your house already. Uh, you could put it in a regular blender or I'm gonna use my immersion blender, so I'll just put it in this pitcher. And I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream, but you can also use half and half. If you wanna save on the calories, they will be cut in half if you use half and half. And just make sure they have far out expiration dates. Then we will add the whiskey. And because of the cream and the different uh, condensed milks in that, you can really get away with a harsher, more bitter whiskey. You can also use scotch um, if you prefer that flavor, or I bet you a dark rum or something would also work in here. Then we are using the regular sweetened condensed milk. They also have a fat-free version of this. Next, we'll add one teaspoon of instant coffee. Gives it some nice color and gives it a rich flavor. 
and then two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And then last but not least, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. Yes, this is not a recipe for, whoops, it's popping all over the calorie conscious. And now, because I use the heavy whipping cream, be careful to not blend this for more than 30 seconds because if you go much further, it will start to turn to butter. And then you'll have Irish cream butter. All right, so about 30 seconds to just blend it and this will be ready to go. That's it. All right, so I know you're not gonna believe this, but I do have a few um, empty wine bottles in the recycling bin. So what I did was just soak them, sanitize them, and remove the labels. And this is about the perfect size for this batch. It makes 34 ounces. So now I will just use my handy dandy funnel, pour it into this glass bottle. You can use a dark bottle too, but I thought it would be nice to see exactly what I've made. So I'm using a clear glass. Now we're going to use the freshly made Irish cream liqueur in this cocktail. I'm a huge fan of traditional Irish coffees. Whiskey, sugar, hot black coffee, a little whipped cream on top. And this is a version that's kicked up quite a bit. All right, you ready? I primed the cup with scalding hot water. So now I'm going to add that to another cup. Because you want to make sure it stays nice and hot because we're going to be adding different liqueurs. Always use your measuring cup because a lot of alcohol's in here. So we want to make sure you don't over pour. This will be one ounce. Actually, it's one and a half ounces of Irish whiskey. Your choice, okay? So we'll start with that layer. Next, Kahlua. Now the rest of this is all half ounce pours. So now we'll go right there. Kahlua. Next, half ounce of my freshly made Irish cream. There you go. Very nice. And last but not least, we gotta pay homage to France. We are going to do a half ounce of Grand Marnier. All right, so now we will mix this together. Very nice. And then I have freshly brewed black coffee. We'll bring that right up to the top. And then just to kick it up a little bit more, how about a little bit of fresh whipped cream. Now this is a beautiful drink. How about this for an Irish coffee? Mmm. It is delicious, but I think I'd leave it to one. <laughs> There's quite a bit going on in this glass. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com for the recipes for the Irish cream liqueur and for the Blarney Buster. And enjoy this any time of the year. Do not wait for St. Patrick's Day. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. At the Vein Center and Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. That's why we provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center and Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. And now we're proud to welcome Dr. Kiesel to our practice. Call the Vein Center and Med Spa for a free consultation and see why our patients leave satisfied. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Primates. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop 
and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services, and a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. We've been in the Mahoning County for 70 years. We're not going anywhere. Bree and I have been in this business since we were kids. My grandpa built the business off of loyalty, honesty, and trust. My grandfather, my father, they have a legacy here. We have learned all of these great things from both of them that, you know, we will be sure to keep the legacy going into the fourth generation. Get real, get Kamara. At Woolley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Woolley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. My father loved two days. That was the Sunday before St. Patrick's Day because that's when we hold the Mahoning Valley St. Patrick's Parade. And he loved St. Patrick's Day itself because he loved to celebrate his Irish heritage. On my St. Patrick's Day shows, I will always close out with this song that my dad sang at our wedding. I absolutely love this song and I really miss my dad. So I'm going to share this with you once more, The Maiden. This is a song that my dad used to sing at Irish weddings a long time ago. And the name of the song is The Damsel Only 19 Years Old. Yeah! As I went a walking one night by the strand, I met a fair damsel. She was dressed up so grand. She had feathers and finery. She had jewels and gold. She said she was a damsel, only 19 years old. Her fingers were tapered, her neck like the swan. Her nose a little turned up, her voice not too strong. In three weeks we were married, and our wedding bells told that I married a damsel, only 19 years old. When the wedding party broke up, we retired to rest. I nearly dropped dead when this girl, she undressed for a carload of padding from her chest did unfold. <laughs> Says I, you're a dandy, only 19 years old. When I awoke in the morning, I thought I would faint. She scraped off her thin cheeks, a full pound of paint. And on her left shoulder, a little hump did behold. Says I, you're a cuckoo, only 19 years old. 
she took off her wax fingers till she left only three. She unscrewed her left leg up as far as the knee. When she took out her glass eye, on the carpet it rolled. Oh, good God almighty, only 19 years old. She took out her eyebrows, they were black and sublime. She took out her false teeth, she had just 29. When she took off her blonde hair, her ball paint told that I married a damsel only 19 years old. So now take my advice when for marriage you go. Examine your girl from her head to her toe. For if you do not, you will like me be sold to a damn Nova Scotian who is 90 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be opening up for you too. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.